Hey guys, and welcome to my first video. Thank you for deciding to watch me paint a light bulb for six minutes straight. I do greatly appreciate you guys deciding to watch my video today. So, as you can see, I have started off with a rough sketch of the light bulb, and I'm actually going to start blocking in the colours for the background now because that will help me paint the actual light bulb later on because all colours are pretty much relative. So they either appear brighter or duller, depending on what's around them. So, now I've actually started blocking in the colours for the actual light bulb. Now, that will help me get an idea of what it looks like, and if I need to make any changes, it's going to be really quick and easy, and I'm not going to lose hours and hours and hours of fine detail work. To be honest, I didn't actually start doing this until my last painting, because I've heard that tip from so many YouTubers and artists, but I kind of just thought it was kind of overrated. But seriously, it does really help. Because your brain sees this pretty much like image when you zoom out. So you don't have to go through hours of the ugly stage, which to be honest, nobody really likes. And if you need to do any changes or make drastic changes to your painting, it's really easy and you're not going to lose that much time. And I'm actually going to start going in with smaller shapes and smaller colours and highlights because, to be honest, that takes the most time but it's the bit that makes the whole painting look more polished and makes it look a bit more realistic as well. Um, to be honest, this is my favourite part to do So at this point you can kind of just zone out and put colours here, put colours there and it's kind of a chill time when you don't have to make big decisions anymore. You guys might be wondering why is this video in a squarey shape? But that's because I had my reference picture on the side and the record I'm using to record my screen records one records one window at a time. So that's why it looks a bit weird. But hopefully by next time I'll change it. You guys might be also wondering what application I'm using because it's more common for people to use Procreate and Photoshop. But this is actually called Autodesk Sketchbook, and it's mainly used for for designing products, so kind of product design. But it's great for painting. And before you had to get the trial version, and then you had to purchase the pro version, which gives you all the tools. But now they've actually made the whole thing free, which is great for artists like us who don't have a lot of money to spend on drawing software. Um, before this, I used to use this application called Krita. But it's kind of like Photoshop, so it has lots and lots of tools. But because it has so many tools, it's kind of hard to easily change brush sizes and easily get different brushes. So that's why I think this is a lot simpler and easier to use. The reason I kind of need it to be easy to use is because I actually don't have a keyboard. I actually don't have a keyboard or shortcuts to get shortcuts, which would make life a lot easier, but I just don't have it. Because I'm actually painting this on my laptop. Because when I was actually going to get my laptop, um, I couldn't actually afford to get a laptop separately and then a tablet separately. So I kind of just got a touchscreen laptop, which kind of turns into a tablet. So it's kind of best of both worlds. And, you know, when you're turning into a tablet, you, ex you don't have access to the keyboard because it's on the other side. So, yeah, that's why. Um, another thing that I'm actually quite surprised about is I'm not using that many layers to paint the actual physical light bulb. And before I would have used about four layers, but I think that was that came from me being really scared and having a safety net. But having lots of layers kind of makes it difficult because you kind of have to go back and forth. And sometimes the different parts of the picture don't flow together seamlessly, so I think this is a lot easier. And talking about being scared, I've actually been thinking about posting a YouTube video for about two years now but I've actually been really scared to do it. It's kind of how I was really scared when I have posted my first artwork on my Instagram but now looking back at it I'm actually glad I did and hopefully it will be the same case on YouTube instead of just like looking at a painting happening because then you kind of zone out. So you guys are welcome! So I'm kind of leaping into the pool head first. And now you can actually see that I've started doing the little 
fine strands and the metal bits inside the light bulb so i've got a completely different new layer for this because as you can see i do the lines and then i change the color for it so i do an alpha lock which means that you can only color in where there's already paint on it so it makes it a lot easier to just change color instead of having it on the same layer because it's so fine and small it's kind of hard to change the color later on so that's what i'm doing here if you have any topics you want me to talk about or you have any suggestions what you want me to talk about in the next video just leave some comments below and um, if you actually think there's like major things that you want me to change and if you think i should change anything just tell me and i'll change it for next time and hopefully i'll see you again next time and thank you for watching this and sticking around till the end and i hope you have enjoyed this bye